Hi, I'm going to do a review on what you would receive if you buy the Horizons Math Kindergarten. We got this for our homeschool this year, and you will receive one teacher's guide, and inside the teacher's guide you will find the scope and sequence, what they will go through, counting and time, calendar, number patterns, um, sequencing, fractions, units of measure, graphs, number theory, colors, shapes, comparisons, directions, addition, subtraction, place value, um, before and after numbers, and then number writing. So it's a really good um, kindergarten curriculum. And then here it will show you um, where to find uh, the additional worksheets and where to use them. I'll show you those later. The Appearance of Concepts, Kindergarten Math. Okay, and so like this is where you will find like addition. Um, then you will find addition on all these pages. So it kind of just explains that for you. And then it has out for you a daily lesson planner. So for lesson one, um, you'll be count to ten by counting the children. Identify top and bottom. Count to five by counting objects. Trace and write one. And so it just keeps going all the way. There are 160 lessons in this curriculum. And so I will go ahead and go ahead and flip past all of those. And this is a spiral math curriculum. So there it shows you how they will introduce the subject. Then they'll have a primary practice, a secondary practice, a break. And then a primary review and secondary review. And so that just kind of shows you, like, so this is the topic. And so this is, you know, they'll be introduced to it. And then this is when they will, um, they'll have practices, and the primary review. So um, for a child that likes to move fast and can catch on to the concepts rather quickly and can get bored rather easily, I think this curriculum is really um, a good idea. Now the teacher's lesson, so each page opens up to lesson one. Um, so each one's a lesson. It shows you their worksheets with the answers on them, but kindergarten math, we all should definitely know those answers. So I would say that the teacher's guide is not 100% necessary, but I do like the ideas that they put in it, as well as just sometimes having the explanation um, from the creators of the curriculum and what they were thinking or where they're going or if you find a worksheet confusing um, you can just check it and make sure you're doing the right thing so um, that is how that looks so each each lesson there's one and so it just goes all the way through like that so in the back of this book there are your additional worksheets that if you just need extra practice on something that you can pull out. So you're going to find those right here. And there is a counting to 100 chart. And then also it goes through all the practice, the writing numbers. So just lots of writing practice if they need that. And then it has supplemental worksheets. So if they're struggling with a certain thing, you can um, have these extra worksheets to have. And so there's just some more. And there's a number line you can cut out and use if you need to. Um, and it right here, all the way from zero, all the way up to 100. So if you want to use that, if you need that. So that's what you get with the teacher's guide. And then you get two student workbooks. Okay. Now, the workbooks are beautiful. They're colorful. They're engaging. So each worksheet, and it's preparated, so for people that like to put their work in binders, which I definitely do, um, you can tear out these pages, which that's how we do things here, so I really appreciate that. Um, so this is lesson one, is the front and the back, okay? So one lesson is one page, front and back, and that's it. Okay, and so lesson two, and um, so if your child has... I mean, this starts out really simple. So if your child has gone through preschool or um, you have homeschooled them, you know, their preschool and stuff, you would by far be well into this. I know we did preschool, 
and he's already adding and subtracting and um, knows his shapes, his colors, and counting, and all of that. So we might just kind of fly through some of these first lessons and um, until we are introduced to a new concept. So it's not overwhelming. Um, the activities are all different. It's not the same thing over and over again. The only thing, the one thing that as I'm looking through this curriculum that I have not really liked is how they write their fours. In the Horizons um, preschool, they wrote the fours the other way, or it was open. And so I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to approach that, if I'm going to just let him write them the open way, or if I will have him do them that way. So I don't know why they switched um, from the preschool to this. Um, but So that is the only thing that I have found that I have um, had a question about. Otherwise, um, I like how it just moves right along, it introduces the topics, and then they practice them, and then they always review them, and I like um, here they're measuring already, and they will do a lot of number work all the way up to 100. Um, clockwork is in there, they have lots of counting by fives, and tens, and twos, and it's a great curriculum. I think we will really love it. And so I will just show you some of the pages in the book too. Um, I just so appreciate all of the mothers out there or, or homeschooling people, anybody, not just moms, um, that put the reviews out of curriculum um, for us that can't get to places where we can touch them and look at them and feel them, which is me and a lot of people out there. We love these videos. It really helps us just get an idea of what a curriculum's like before we buy it. And so I really appreciate your guys' videos. I wanted you to know that. But anyways, I'll just flip through some of these pages so you can kind of see what they'll be doing. So here they count to 100. That's why all those shapes are there. Um, lots of number lines they'll have and money. Okay, shapes equals adding, subtracting, counting by fours, and then there's some addition. We're getting into some bigger numbers and working on the addition, and they give the number line for them at the top to help. Now, if you were to buy this curriculum, like with um, in the sunlight package, they will include a math manipulatives kit, and, or, and you can just buy those as well. Um, I just find things around the house we can count and manipulatives we can use. Um, otherwise, I'm a big Goodwill shopper and you'd be surprised what you can find there. Um, I have found lots of wonderful resources. So that is pretty much the curriculum there. So there, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you would get with the um, Horizons Math Curriculum. And um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask, and hopefully I'll be able to answer them in another video. And so I hope that gives you a great idea of what this curriculum looks like. And I will do a review when we have finished this curriculum, just so that way um, I can um, give you a review on, like, how it worked. So thank you, and I appreciate all of your videos as well. Goodbye.